Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Margaret and I'm here for a week in review. I thank everybody in the chat for waiting. I'm a teensy bit late, which I apologize for, but I'm really trying to make these videos a bit more actually on point. I know it's all, I've always called them staying on point and people tease me later saying you, you never do stay on point, sort of. Anyway, but I like to think that's part of my charm. <laughs> So hello everybody in the chat. Thank you so much uh, again for waiting, but I really do I, I was working on finishing up the timeline for the show and I'm really um, Trying to focus and break it down a little more specifically so that I am looking at how this last week went not only for myself, but also for you guys and in the groups and on YouTube um, and then taking a look at where we're going forward. So I'm really excited about the new format. I really hope you like it. It's going to be hopefully more on point and more review-ish. So the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> All right, let me say hello in the chat real quick. Uh, and everybody, hopefully you can hear me. There was a bit of chat going on before I came live, so I'm glad to see that. I love to see that everyone's talking and saying hey and all that. Hello, Jazzy Red and Robin. Hello, One Witch Lady and Maggie Doodle. Hello, hello. And hello, Angie Treasured Vintage. And, and, oh boy. Robin, I think I said hi. It was quite, hey, HB Picker, how are you? And, and, I'm scrolling. <laughs> Good, good. Hey, Fran, how's it going? And Alex and the Hyper Pickers there in Chelsea and Kathy B and Deborah Jean Living Life. Hello, I'm so glad you guys could join me live. All right, so I'm still have, um, planning on having the same four topics for the show, um, but I'm breaking them down a little better in underneath each one to be more specific. So, um, it's still going to cover, it's still, I'm still going to be covering um, business and health and organization and making sure we're having fun in, in our lives. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the business area. And so what I thought I would do is share with you what my week was like this past week uh, in different areas and then talk about the goals that I have coming up. And then hopefully it will encourage you or inspire you to take a look because frequently I think I'm doing better than I am. And then I look at the actual numbers and realize, wow, that's not that good. So I, I think I'd sort of turn a blind eye, but I feel like I can't grow if I don't actually, you know, shine the light on it and really look at what's going on. So um, as you guys know, I've, I've really been working on my merch account a lot lately. And I'm at the 500 design level. But I didn't upload any new designs this week. I have 15 more slots, but I didn't I didn't get there this week and upload those last 15. I guess I didn't have any ideas that I don't know. I hate to say that because I feel like if I had applied myself, I would have come up with those 15 designs. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what my excuse is. So but I have had 19 sales this week on merch. So that was really nice. And then on Etsy. I finally started listing again. Um, it was really hard with everything that had been going on, you know, and you stop for so long. It's hard to get that ball rolling again. Um, but I'm starting to get that ball rolling again. I only made 17 new listings this week on Etsy, which I, it felt like more, you know. But luckily, well, luckily, <laughs> hopefully, my goal for next week is to do double that at least. Um, because I would like to get 10 listings in a day and I'll, I'll share in a little bit when we start talking about our group and the challenge we've got going on this week. Um, it's the Q4 challenge. And so uh, my, I'm going to be posting my goals there every day where I'm going to do 10 listings a day. So let me say hello. I see some more people jumping into the chat over there. Hey, Catherine. Hello. And Diane, how are you? Hello. Hello. Okay. So. And I hope, I think some of you may have been in the, the hurricane zone. Hopefully everybody's under, you know, not underwater right now. So crossing fingers. Um, okay. So, and then on eBay, wait, wait, Etsy, I didn't finish that. So 17 new listings this week and I only had three sales, but then I think, okay, I need to be, I feel like um, grateful for any sales that I get, right? So 
I had three sales on Etsy this week, but it's similar to eBay. That It's like you feed the beast in, in Amazon. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. So that's that for Etsy. And then on eBay, and tell me in the chat if this if you're enjoying this format. Because this, you know, I figure I'm trying something new. I'm trying to get more specific instead of just, you know, I just talk. So um, on eBay, I did 19 listings, which again is not the best, you know, is not where I would like to be, but I feel like, you know, trying to get that ball picking picked up, rolling again. So that's where it's at for me. <laughs> but I mean, I think also it felt like I did more, but then when I sat down and actually looked at the numbers, um, it wasn't more than that. So it was good. It's good that I actually look at it and say, "Woo, it's not as it's not what I thought it was. Uh, so then um, I had seven sales on eBay this week and I'll do my sales update tomorrow. I'm trying to get that going again every week, you know, and, and I avoided it during, you know, there were some weeks where it was like two or three weeks where I didn't do it. And honestly, I avoided it because I didn't want to share like, oh, it's not where I want it to be. And I, I felt bad sharing that, but I feel like, and that's kind of why I'm doing this. I feel like I need to keep it real because if that's what it is, that's what it is. If it's only 10 sales, it's, it's 10 sales. Um, I know that I've put my efforts into something else and other things have been going on and that's fine. That's fine, <laughs> right? One witch lady says, listing something is better than listing nothing. This is so true. <laughs> I did quite a few last night, so I felt pretty good about that. And I have a note to myself here. The jewelry bag, that big jewelry bag that I got and unboxed, I've sold two pieces from it already. It hasn't made up the whole, you know, the, to pay for the whole thing yet, but, I mean, you saw that. I mean, that bag was, it took three videos to do, and I had to cut some out. So I've sold um, Pinocchio keychain that was in there. And then yesterday I sold the Lu Houses by Lucinda, a uh, little black and white house. So that was good. So, I mean, it's maybe $15 total, but I spent 40 for the bag. And those two things are already 15 towards paying for the, the whole thing, which I think is great. Uh, and I haven't even listed half of it yet. I'm still working on listing all of this uh, jewelry. So, let's see. Nelly says she's watching Grandbaby. Oh, how exciting. Tell her happy birthday. She's going to be a year old tomorrow. Those babies. <laughs> you just never get that time back. You know what I mean? Um, Rose City Stitcher says, I've never sold on Etsy, but I would like to start. You have a lot of sewing patterns listed on eBay. Made you better on Etsy. I've actually sold quite a few sewing patterns lately. Um, my last sales video, um, I sold quite a few. And I had somebody ask, for me to do a video or an update on that, like, because I mean, my mom sews, you know, and so I, and I sew, so I know what it looks like to have a complete pattern, but you forget, like, not everybody knows, like, they don't have that in there, just like there's things, like, if it's an engine part, I don't know if it's complete or not, you know, who knows, everybody has their areas of expertise, so somebody asked that I show what a complete pattern looks like, and I would show you now, but I don't have one with me, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's that time of year where things are starting. The craft kits are really selling. The patterns are really selling, um, especially with Halloween stuff, costume patterns. So that's really telling me right now, just telling you this, like, oh, yeah, for the challenge this week, I really need to pull out those you know, stitchery kits and cross-stitch kits and embroidery kits and patterns and things like that to start um, putting up there. It may be too late for costume patterns. But maybe not. You never know. I mean, because I have some like Elizabethan ones. And I don't know if you have this where you are, but we have in Galveston, there's a place called The Strand. And every year they do something called Dickens on the Strand where people dress up and, you know, or if a Renaissance festival, that kind of thing. So that kind of stuff goes all year long. Yeah. So uh, Jazzy read, I had a terrible time with patterns, even had some frozen patterns that won't sell. That's surprising. Um, I... I'm trying now when I when I do pie pie patterns um, to have them between you know, under fifty cents a piece. Under fifty cents has to be one complete. And I've sold it, patterns that have been cut, but oh, it's such a pain to go count all the pieces and everything. So now I just don't even bother with that, unless it's amazing. Um, and then ones that are costume or ones that are super vintage or ones that I kind of I'll lean towards now. Did you guys see that one I sold a while back? I picked it up for a quarter at a charity shop, it was a matrix. It was Neo and Morpheus pattern. 
And I sent that one into Amazon, and I think it sold for like $60. I mean, come on, for a quarter, that's an amazing return. <laughs> but I did, I sold some this, um, this week, and I know I've got some more Elizabethan style fancy dress, you know, cosplay, uh, like one witchy lady saying, or um, like steampunk type style. So, vintage plus size one, yes, one witchy lady, those are, that's a good uh, call too, plus size. Because almost everybody's plus size nowadays. No, 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 they're not. <laughs> but, you know, this is the way America's going. Pardon me. I'm going to take a sip here. Okay. So, um, let me know in the chat how you're doing. I know some of you have been saying along the way about how you're doing on Etsy or eBay. Um, but, again, you know, take a look at your numbers and see. Like I said, I, I felt like I was doing better. And then when I saw the actual numbers in black and white, I was like, wow, that's not as many as I thought. <laughs> so, and I'm wondering, Robin, Robin's saying patterns that are used for cosplay will sell. I'm wondering if using, because I, I don't really use that keyword in there. So I may look into, like, using that keyword for people that are looking for that as well. All right, so I'm jumping into, this is also in the, under the business side of things. Um, if you don't know, I'm one of the admins in the group International League of Thrifters on Facebook, and we have had some changes this past week. It's actually been more than a week, but they're really starting to take, you know, full swing or go into full swing this, yes, yeah, sippy sippy, uh, go into full swing this week. But we have two new admins, Catherine, who's in the chat, I think. Catherine is one of our new admins, and Carly Vick is uh, another one of our new admins, and I couldn't be happier. I feel like I wish I'd asked them to join sooner because they have been such, you know, it's like that new blood, you know what I mean? When I, for example, when I was teaching, some some older teachers were not as happy as uh, having some younger people come in, but I always loved it because they always came with new ideas, fresh ideas, and it was amazing. I mean, it's just been amazing, uh, the ideas that Catherine and Carly have brought to the group. And so I'm going to share some of those in, in just a second. Yes, Alex, anyone can join. Um, we, we screen, so you'll have to send a request because, oh, we have some spammy problems, you know. So Cat Tack, that's you, right, Catherine? Is that you? <laughs> I just want to make sure. Let me, let me scroll over. She'll, she'll cut, I don't know, I'm a little behind on my, the chat is lagging. But I think that's Catherine, our admin, I think. <laughs> So, uh, oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. Hmm. Okay, just like Jazzy said, sippy sippy. There we go. That's for you, graveyard girl. All right, so um, some of the, you know, while I'm talking about them, let me go ahead and share some of the awesome things that they have brought to the group this week. First of all, Carly had the idea for doing something called a yard sale Yoda, which I thought was an amazing idea. So. Let me pull up her graphic. Um, this is what I love. I mean, fresh ideas, fresh, bringing something new. Here we go. Let me share, share, share. Oh, gosh. Can I share it? Maybe I have to have it pulled up. Hang on. Let me pop, pop it up first. It has to be open. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So here's her graphic. Can you see? Yard sale Yoda. Um, time to share your top tips for scoring big and having fun at yard sales, rummage sales, estate sales. Ask questions and share your experience. So I thought I would share some of the awesome tips that people came up with on um, for the yard sale Yoda. Hang on, I've lost my chat. There you are. <laughs> so here we go. Yard sale Yoda. Some of the tips that we came with um, were, um, this is my friend Caroline. She says she's not sure how much haggling we do in the States, but she loves to haggle at car, uh, at car boot sales. In the UK, they do car boot sales. So taking time to have a chat and make a little connection um, and then talking about price with the person that's selling them. So yeah, and I'm not gonna say all the people's names because I didn't, you, I like to ask people's permission before I start talking about them on, on camera, but I'll just call them by their initials. So VE um, says, yeah, that chatting and establishing a rapport definitely helps. And since she's an introvert, she has a bit of trouble with this, so it's good advice. And then CR says to look under the tables and to look up high. And this is so true because I found something up high on the shelf um, at a garage sale that was really, really nice. It was a quilt. And then I put on there to take a chance on something that you've never tried before. 
especially if you can get a few dollars, get it for a few dollars and or less. Okay, so I'm going to stop screen sharing. Oh gosh, I've lost my, I have too many things open, so I'm trying to find where you are. Where are you? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to find you. There you are. Stop. All right, so there were lots more, but I didn't know how many of them you really wanted to hear. I may have to do, you know, I'll ask Carly if it's okay, or maybe she'll want to talk to me. She, she may want to take the idea, uh, because I think it would make a great video idea of different tips for yard sales and garage sales and things like that. Those are just a few. If you're in uh, International League of Thrifters, go check it out. You can do a search in the group for Yard Sale Yoda and see the cool and awesome tips that people are throwing out there. There were some good ones. All right, where'd my list go? I have too many screens open, you guys. So there, okay, we're still talking about, we call it ILOT for short. So International League of Thrifters, ILOT. So let's see. Yes, Catherine says, Yard Sale Yoda, she loved it, learned so much. Yes. Hey, Velma, how do I go home? <laughs> Maggie says she's not a haggler either. Open boxes is what one witchy lady says. Yes. <laughs> Angie, are you a good haggler? I bet you are. I bet you are. Um, and then Maggie says her husband loves to haggle, but but so she lets him do it. So those, I mean, those are some really good tips. And again, there were a lot more. Oh, Matt, I'm gonna say I'm gonna share one more that MD shared. She says, be okay with leaving a yard sale empty-handed. I thought that was an amazing tip because I have that problem. Like I feel like I need to find something, you know? So again, there's tons, tons more um, in the group, but yeah, so go check it out. So also, um, we do Pinterest parties in the group every day, and we tried, <laughs> we tried to schedule them and try to get in an ID in advance so we could tell everybody in advance what the week of Pinterest parties would be, but that, that just didn't work. <laughs> so it's a surprise every day. So some of our friends will tell you what it is, some of the admins, but because sometimes I don't know. I can't think that far in advance or something will come up. Like we just started talking about patterns. Like, oh, that's a good idea for a Pinterest party. Maybe I'll do that for my Pinterest party. Um, but today's Pinterest party, if you are in the International League of Thrifters, is new or new with tags or sealed. And that one is being hosted by our lovely new admin, Catherine. Um, and she's also hosting the first, her first um, weekly challenge. So we have challenges every week. And the weekly challenge this week is Q4 and getting that stuff that you think is going to sell for Q4 up and listed and going. So let me see. Friend needs more stuff says bundle like American pickers do for better deals. This is true. Yes. <laughs> Bundling. Once you get a pile of stuff, then you can say, how about, right? I think that's a good idea too. Okay. What else about the group? Okay. So some of the successes, and this is something else I wanted to share in the group. Um, people frequently share their successes and I see a lot of really awesome things happening that I don't feel like get enough lights shone on them. You know, um, one of our members, LM, I'm saying her initials, she sold some blue glasses that she shared in one of the Pinterest parties and people frequently share because we do watch my item Wednesday and we do Pinterest parties every day and people come back and share in the group that, you know, my item sold. Yay. So that's amazing. I like that. And then there was another member in our group who was looking for some help in her store and she was looking for feedback on her store. And so she shared and she was very specific, you know, we don't allow selling in our group, but if you're looking for help for your, your listings or your photographs or like my, I'm having trouble with my store, you know, in that respect, yes, you know, you can share your store. And then our members jumped in and they, I was so proud of the wonderful constructive criticism that they gave and that the lady took the, you know, took it, it all in and went through and made the, the changes that people were offering, the advice that people were offering. So it was really a positive experience for everybody. And I think also when we do that, um, maybe someone else has the same thing going on with their shop, but they might be too shy to share or they might be, you know, and, and even so like sharing ideas amongst each other in that way, you know, even if you're a more experienced seller, someone may say something or share something that, that you wouldn't have thought of before. So I was really happy to see that happening. I was really happy to see the way everyone responded to help a, a fellow ILOT member out. So it was really a nice, you know, warm, fuzzy feeling. 
So let's see. <laughs> Angie says bundling requires a calculator for me. <laughs> okay. So then again, I say, you know, if you if you're in iLot and you are having an item that's not selling or your shop is not doing as well as you think, you know, share. And if you're not sure how to word it, because we've had to ask some people to take it down because they'll say, you know, and if you don't mind buying something from my shop, go ahead. You know, I'm like, eh. you know, yes, we're here to help, but we're not going to try to get each other to buy stuff. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. I think it does. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, and then also in the group, <laughs> I'm talking up the group, but I, I, I want to, I want to do that. That's part of this. I'm focusing on everything. So also every week in the group, I try to find some Kindle books that are free that are reseller related. And sometimes they get turned like the person that has their book as free will see the activity, people downloading them, and then they'll turn the price back on. Um, so I put that in full disclosure <laughs> that that happens. So I was going to share the three books that I shared this week. They're still up as free and I'm, I've linked them in the description below. So if you are interested in, in checking them out and now I look at them, I don't, you know, I'm not sitting on the couch, you know, reading these books like, like I would have <laughs> gone with the wind or something like that. But I just scan through and see if I see, you know, even if I find one little tip, a few, a few tips, then I think it's worth it if it's free. Come on. So I will share with you the three um, books that I popped into the group. And again, they're linked in the description below. Oh boy, here we go. So this is the first one. Um, Kindle price right now is zero. So eBay the easy way, how to make serious money selling on eBay. Oh, also I try to make sure that it's got a, a good review because there's plenty out there that don't have good reviews. Um, the next one that I put in there is Retail Arbitrage using Amazon FBA, and this one is also still zero. Um, and then the last one that I popped in there, oh look, they turned it back on. Ooh, if you have Kindle Unlimited, it was zero. Well, this one was zero before, but what I tell you, they, they see that activity and they turn, their, they turn the money back on. So it was how to test gold and silver. So that one <laughs> was free. All right, stop screen sharing. All right. So let's see what they're saying in the chat. Kat says we can always learn from each other. It's friend says it's so good to talk over there with other resellers. Your family doesn't get it. So true. I mean, this is one of the reasons I I make these videos that <laughs> I do this so I can talk to somebody about it. And Maggie says that I like group is an essential part of her business, knowing that she has somewhere to go with questions and share with other resellers, just like Fran said. This is true. This is true. All right, let me close out of those tabs so I can share with you the next segment. And one witchy lady says, I have to thank you, Margaret, because I've started picking up jewelry again. And she found an awesome bracelet. Yay! You know, and that, that Mickey Mouse bracelet that I picked up at Goodwill that I used in Jason T. Smith's in the Thrift Hall Throwdown, that one sold pretty much right away. I mean, somebody messaged me after the vid the show and said, I want to buy it from you. Um, and I think I sold it for $30. So it sold, you know, like that. It was really good. And I think I bought it for, I think it was $2, a buck 99 or something like that. It was really cute. I don't know if you saw it. It was like a little Jack in the box. Like, and I thought it was one of those prayer boxes, you know, and you open it, when you opened it, the little Mickey mouse was on a spring and he pops up and it was like teeny little teeny thing, you know, it was really cool. One witchy lady said she found a mother of pearl bracelet should sell for 80 plus sweet. That's nice. So that actually brings me, you know, nice segue to the other group that I've started, which is the jewel, jewelry lovers and sellers group. Now I started this group because I felt like I was flooding a lot with jewelry and I know not everyone was into that. So I created the jewelry lovers and sellers group in order to help uh, you know each other learn more about jewelry, identify stones and marks and things like that. So, um, and what one of us doesn't know, the others might know. And even though people may know a lot, there's always new stuff to learn. So Thelma says, yes, that bracelet was amazing. Wasn't it cool? Um, so if you're not a member, you might think about joining because, I mean, I have, I've been learning a lot and I, I feel like I know I'm not, I'm a proficient. I'm not an expert or anything like that. I know who I go to. Like I go to Angie, I go to Karen, 
you know, and then I go put stuff in the group. Now, when I was, let's see, I'm going to look at my notes so I don't get too far off. <laughs> I did this. I did make notes. All right. So one, one of our members, P, I'm, I'm going to again use the initials because I didn't ask permission before I started talking about this person. Um, initials. Okay. P.I. shared an object in the group. He didn't know what it was. And so we were able to help him out. Let me pop open this. You see it? So he um, popped this into the group, into the jewelry group and said, you know, hey, oh gosh, I've lost, I've lost your chat. Where are you? Anyway. Um, hey, you guys, you know what this is? How about you in the, in, in the chat? Do you guys see it? What do you think this is? I know some of you know, but we were able to help him out and tell him what these were. And so he was able to go look them up and find out what they were worth. Anybody? Anybody in the chat? Bueller? Let's see. There we go. Yay, Catherine got it. They're glove clips. So back in the day when ladies wore gloves, you would use these little clips to keep them together. And then these things, I don't know what, I mean, shoot, what do you, what do you put that on to? I don't maybe your purse or something? I'm not sure. So um, we were able to, to help out with that. And I've had a few people ask about these and what these were. And then another one, handbag clip for gloves. Yes. Um, this was an item. Can you see it? Is it showing? This was an item that I pulled from the jewelry bag. And I couldn't remember what this style was called. And Angie Martin, Treasure Vintage, she was able to tell me that it's called Festooned. And she put a link in the group about, you know, Festooned jewelry. And so I went, you know, oh, I went down the rabbit hole on this one looking at it because I just, they're beautiful. I do a search for Festooned necklaces and it's just amazing. Um, <laughs> Angie Treasure Ventures in the chat says, I am using my glove clip as a package clip. It's on my bag of chocolate peanut butter bugles right now. <laughs> That's one way to use it, right? Fancy. <laughs> so again, in the in the group, I was able to um, get help from Angie with the festooned necklace. And then we had one other member pop up this um, brooch and earrings to get some good you know, keywords on how to list it. And she was able, we were finally, I, oh, I didn't write down who it was that said what they were. I thought it was maybe a camellia, that kind of flower. And somebody else said, oh no, it's a dogwood. And so we looked it up and sure enough, so that, you know, is going to add to her listing. She, instead of just saying pink enamel flower, you know, stones, whatever, she's able to say specifically that it's a dogwood flower. So that will help her or him, I can't remember, and they help her um, with her listing. So again, take a look. If you, hey, Greg in the chat, Mr. Valley Picker. Um, if you are not a member over there at Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, you might think about joining. So, um, and we have had, a, again, talk about spammers. I, I, I've had a time with uh, weeding out people that are spammers in the group. So, and that's one of our number one rules. We're not selling. Now, if you list something that's awesome and I PM you and say, oh my gosh, how much? <laughs> that's different. But we're not trying to directly sell jewelry to each other. Hey, Lori, how are you? All right. So that's that as far as the groups on Facebook. And now I'm bring, bringing you the YouTube section. So I'm talking eBay, Etsy, the groups on Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, this past week, I've done a few videos, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm not doing videos every day. I, I haven't done one in a couple days. I have one that I need to edit, but I just, I didn't get to it. So that's just the way it is going to have to be, and I'll get to that more later. But this week, I did a number of haul videos. I did my sales video, and then I did my second of the keywords, title, and pricing research video. And I've had a really good response to that, where I share how I come up with good keywords, how I come up with my titles, how I decide on my price, because I don't always just go on eBay sold. Um, and so I go through usually two or three items and share my process. And again, I've had a really good response to that, so I'm sure I'll keep doing that as well. Um, so that was this week. And then videos that are coming up this week, I have, tomorrow I'm gonna to do the sales update. 
<laughs> good, bad, and the ugly. And then Tuesday, Carly, who is our one of our new admins, has agreed to come over and do an interview with me. I'm going to take it easy on her. She's not one of the boys. <laughs> Some of the guys that threw some pretty funny questions at him, but I, I'm going to take it easy. Um, but Carly has a YouTube channel called The Poetry of Nice, and it's really good. Uh, she makes great haul videos, sales videos. And again, I'm super excited that she has agreed to come be one of our admins over in iLot. And then let's see, what other videos do I have in the works? Um, this week also, I, I was tagged by Caroline Matthews in the music, her music tag video, so I'm going to do that. And then Randy and I have a couple of unboxings that we need to take care of. A Firefly, my Firefly one that has been sitting in there for over a month. And I just got a Geek Fuel one as well. So we'll have to, you know, unbox those. Those are fun though. Um, because I, I, my next Firefly one is coming. They already sent the, the notice. And, and, <laughs> um, oh gosh, who does those boxes? Not Geek Fuel. Loot Crate. Loot Crate sent out an, an email saying that they're they're starting another subscription box, and it's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So I subscribed to the Firefly one because you know it's all Firefly stuff, and then I I went ahead and subscribed to the Harry Potter one because it's Harry Potter. So yes, all right. So my um, those are the videos that I have coming up this week, and then I also wanted to share. Um, each week, I want to start doing this, share my best subscriber comment of the week. Um, because oftentimes in the description below, there's some great discussions and help that goes on. And I appreciate reading it all uh, and seeing what everyone's saying. So in the video where I was talking about keywords, my keywords, titles, and pricing video, I had three different people um, help, actually help me out with a keyword that I didn't even think of, which was, uh, let's see, who was it? Pretty Papers, Dina Cox, and Brandy Jean all helped me with the keyword of uh, jewel tone for the item I was listing, because I was saying bright colors, multicolored. Let me find it and I'll share, share with you. And I was very grateful, and I did. I went back into my listing, because I'd already listed it, I went back into the listing and added the word, added that in there, jewel tone. Um, so this was the listing I was going through. And I, I kept, you know, saying colorful, bright colors. And I hadn't thought of jewel tone. So many, many minds, right? <laughs> it was really nice. So those are my, my shout outs for my best sub comments this week. Let's see what's going on in the chat real quick. Hello from Oregon, Karen. Hello, how are you? Am I saying your name right? Hopefully, yes. All right. Firefly. Yes, Jazzy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. And then some good videos that I watched this week. This is something else I want to share. I want to share, you know, good video that I watched this week and maybe shout out a channel that I think could use a little bump that I'm enjoying. Um, again, I'm going to throw out Carly because I really enjoyed she had a great haul video this week and her sales video, I'm gonna share real quick, one of the items that I was just flabbergasted by, her sale. So, and she picked up another pair. So this is Carly's, uh, The Poetry of Nice, and her weekly sales video, she sold these um, vintage Reeboks that she picked up for a dollar and sold them, I think she said for $49 on, on Etsy. And then she picked up another pair just like them in her haul video. So check her out if you're not, again, Poetry of Nice. So she will be over, oh, am I stopping my screen share? There you go. Um, she's coming over to talk with me on Tuesday evening, and I'll pop the uh, date up pretty soon. Let's say, oh, thanks, HB Picker. Um, right, one with you, lady? That, I mean, that, those are a blast from the past, those shoes, right? <laughs> and then there is another YouTuber, that I'm enjoying his channel. And he's fairly new, but I really enjoyed his ride-alongs. And then he did a really good um, Q&A video. I don't know if you've watched this fella. His name is Adam Zavalny. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Q&A with a mysterious caravan eBay seller. Um, but I've, I watched this Q&A, which I really enjoyed. And then he had a ride-along a couple weeks ago that I really liked too. I, I don't know, I love ride-alongs where you you know, and he was showing the, um, the yard sales and stuff like that. So I liked it. So that's my shout out for the YouTuber 
to go check out this week. And then I didn't, I didn't get to finish writing out the rest of my, um, my notes, but I have my outline. So this is the point in the show where things might get messy because I might be going off, off script. <laughs> Let's see. Thelma says, great share on the shoes. I've been thinking of buying all white high tops. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, your grandbaby. She's going to buy some for her grandbaby. Thanks for recommending channels. I'll check these out. They're really good. I, I like so far. I, I'm looking forward to seeing where Mr. Adam takes his channel. Pardon me. Sippy, sippy. Okay. So next up um, in the business room. Look at me. I'm still on business. Goodness gracious. Wow. Okay. We are staying on point. <laughs> it's shipping time. This is my shipping tip. It is that time if you have a eBay store that the new eBay coupon is up and I'm going to show you, let's see if I can show you where it is real quick. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So let me screen share for you. And even I made a video about it, but I have to go back and watch it because when you only do it once a quarter, you can't always remember where it is. You know what I mean? So when you go to your eBay, you know, my eBay, then you go to my account and you go to manage my store. And then it will load or not. Let's see. Then you come over here to subscriber discounts. And then here, eBay shipping supplies, $50 coupon, blah, blah, blah. That's what I have. So I have not used mine yet. I need to get in there and use it. And I hear that there are some really cute holiday shipping stuff out there So uh, to choose from. And goodness knows I haven't used up all the tape for my last uh, coupon. So that is my shipping tip. Hopefully I'll have more uh, next week because I have a whole, like I said, outline where I'm going to be talking about any kind of tip I might have or maybe a shipping problem I had or somebody in the group might have had. Uh, let's see. Did you get the tissue paper? Um, piece 3601, I don't, I mean, is, that, is there tissue paper in the eBay shop? I haven't looked at that. But I don't know that I would use it on the tissue paper. I don't know. I just bought a bunch of tissue paper at a garage sale for super cheap. But hey, if it's cute, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jazzy Run. Yeah, I got my nails done black for the holiday. Okay, so, and again, um, I'm going to be talking about, you know, customer issues that I have coming up, but I didn't have time to fill in that portion. And then also in the group, hello, Kim. <laughs> Howdy from Ohio. Um, Rachel, one of our admins, does a thread called Oops where it's something that we've learned or a mistake we've made and last week or the week before I did make a big oops which I shared in my sales update what which was <sighs> I frequently you know copy I, I cross post and so when I do sell similar on eBay I you know take out the photos and I put in the new images for the new listing and I've copy and paste, you know, the description and all this stuff. But on one particular set of cufflinks, I forgot to change the title. So it was still cufflinks, but it was saying they were like pearl something cufflinks, and these ones were not that cufflink. Now the, the title was in the description box of what these ones were, but I forgot to copy and paste it up there. <gasps> so I sent the buyer a message before I shipped out and said, hey, just want to let you know there was an error. In the title and if you'd like I can cancel the order you know but I just wanted to make sure you were aware that the cufflinks you're getting are the ones that were pictured and this is what the title was supposed to have been so I mean they could still file an item not as described on me because it was my fault but I did you know I, I wanted to show in advance like I'm trying to take care of this up front <laughs> so they, they were fine with it though they said yes yes I want the pictured ones so Hopefully that, that fixes that. But it shows me to slow, slow down. All right. So that was that's it on the business end of things. Um, as far as health and wellness goes, one of the reasons that I'm not going to probably be making videos every single day anymore is because I'm having a trouble with balance in my life. And that is coming in the form of not getting enough exercise and activity. And we've been doing a lot better now that we can thank Pokemon. For that we've been taking pokey walks almost every day we took one earlier today we're gonna go again later today it's not huge activity but it's better than what it has been um, and I keep 
telling myself, this is what my little mantra is, that, that phrase, sitting is the new smoking. And I do find myself continually sitting, you know, sitting in front of the computer, sitting, you know, I find myself in this loop. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Amazon, you know, checking on things. And then I get done and I go back and I start checking on things again. Um, so it's not been very productive. So there's that aspect of it. And then also as far as getting stuff done around the house. So I'm not probably going to be making videos every single day. I'll probably, you know, take Wednesday, Thursday off somewhere in there. We'll see. Um, so yeah. But I, you know, I, it really did, like I was having a, a bumpy morning, ask, ask the family, um, but I feel my spirits raised, lifting, pardon me, um, it really does, it helps me out to talk to you guys, so thank you. And then, let's see, I don't, you know, I, I'm planning on having like an organizational tip for the week and, and something I'm going to be working on for the following week, but I don't have that right now because I didn't finish my outline um, but I do need to get back into my workroom and organize it because it is a nightmare again in there yeah I mean it just kind of exploded all over the place again so that happened so that needs to be fixed <laughs> and then finally let me make sure I've got to everything have I have I let's see do, 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 not quite almost um the Oh gosh, now I forgot even what I was going to say. Oh, whoa, whoa. the five truths and a lie um, playlist is if you go to my channel and you click on playlists, you'll find it there, five truths and a lie. And lots of people have created their five truths and a lie videos and I've added them in there. And if I missed yours, let me know so I can add it in so everybody can watch them. And I am so bad at guessing. <laughs> I don't think I got anybody's correct. Um, as far as which one was the lie, <laughs> but we've had we had a lot of really great entries, so I was really happy with that. Let's see uh, in the chat. Thelma says balance. I have to stand up at her desk at work or keep her laptop on the kitchen island so I can stand. See, maybe that's what I need to do. I have my kitchen counter over there, the tall one. Yes, I make sure to take all my eBay eBay pictures while I'm standing up. Oh, that's a good idea because I do. I set up on my kitchen table, so I'm sitting down. Yeah, I just found myself sitting a lot, and that's not helpful. <laughs> All righty, let's see. There were let's see. There was one other thing I was going to share, which I forgot to share earlier, and that was um, in our group. Catherine shared some great tips about Pendleton, and I wanted. Oh wait, this is her. This is what the the challenge looks like this week. So if you go looking for it, weekly challenge. Oh my gosh, it's fourth quarter. Um, but here's here's what she shared. Catherine shared this really cool clip that has all these Pendleton tags so you can see what era it's from, which I thought was really good information. I don't sell Pendleton or clothes generally, um, but that I felt like was a really good, you know, chunk of in information, nugget, gold nugget, if you will. <laughs> all right, let me take a look in the chat one more time. Um, he says, are you going to do another thrift haul throwdown with Jason? Um, I don't know. I know that Jason and Nick are going to go next, I think. So I think the, I hate to say losers, but the, the fellas, we'll just say the fellas are going to go up against each other, I think is what's going to happen. And somebody in the chat on um, the thrift haul throwdown, you know, in the chat part, suggested that I go up against Nadine. The Battle of the Redheads is what they called it. So that might happen, but I don't know. It's so far in the future that it's a question mark. And then Jason's got some ideas to have, you know, audience participation where it's, you know, he can have a lot of people in there going at once. So it's, it was super fun. Um, and I was really, really honored that he asked me to do it. So it was, yeah, again, very, very fun. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the week in review, and I hope that you like the new format. I felt like it was a lot more specific, and hopefully you guys were able to get some good information out of it more so than just me rambling on. So again, check us out over at International League of Thrifters and over in the Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group, and I will see you later. And thank you again, everybody, for coming and watching live. Bye.